Rod Baker, and I'm I'm with God and Rod. <laughs> I'm with God and Rod. I love that. Um, I want to talk to you today about um, well, let's just call it what it is: celibacy. Celibacy. Um. You know, a lot of people believe that my celibacy comes from um, me being obedient to the Word. And it's not. That's not where it comes from. Someone said something to me a long, long time ago. They said, having sex with stupid people will make you stupid. Now, I must say, at the time that I heard it, I wasn't quite sure if I believed that. But after I tried it, <laughs> yeah, it was confirmed. So, you know, there has to come a point in time when you ask yourself about, are you stupid? Because if, if you're out having sex with people that are not as smart as you are, then guess what? They're stupid. You being willing to have sex with someone like that means that you're not exactly smart. So for me, I think well of myself. I know well of myself. I know myself. I know who I am and I know who I am. And that makes me valuable. I'm very well off financially. I'm uh, ruggedly handsome. I'm mature in age. I'm witty. I'm wise. I'm... I'm a damn good friend. I'm the kind of friend that a friend would really like to have. And I'm particular. I'm very particular. I don't waste my time on people or things that uh, do not serve me well. See, that's where it comes from. It's a value. You hold yourself at a value. And it's true. I'm, I'm telling you the truth. You have sex with stupid people and you will become stupid. Look at all the stupid people we got out here. They're out there continuing to give themselves away. <laughs> You know, I remember a seminar one time that a guy, he called and he told me, he said, hey, listen, I want to put this seminar on and I want you to speak at it. And I said, well, um, what are you charging for the seminar? And he said, I'm not charging anything. I said, well, what value is that seminar going to be to those people? If, if we live in a society that you get what you pay for and you're out there giving yourself, well, I'm not talking about going out there hooking. What I am talking about is why don't you quit hoeing? And I'm not just talking about sex. I'm talking about your time. I'm talking about your, you know, your wisdom, your maturity, your, your love. See, the beautiful thing about love God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength is that means that you have to come to really know God to love Him with that. And in that process, you yourself have to discover what love really is. And then it says to love your neighbor as you do yourself. It doesn't say, you know, love uh, Joe Blow down the road 
Uh, it doesn't say love everybody. It doesn't say that. And I don't have to like anybody. Nowhere is it written uh, that it's a commandment that I have to like anybody. And so I usually don't. But I'll tell you what, if you're standing next to me, if you're, if you're within my perimeter, then you're my neighbor. And I love you like I do myself. There will not be any harm come to you. You will be surrounded with favor as I am. And let me tell you, my life is surrounded with favor. You know, I have lived through so many things that when, you know, when I talk to other people about some of the things that I've um, just lived through, they don't understand it. Well, you're not. If you don't have that same kind of relationship, trust, faith, and dependence on God. So when I created the, uh, the tag on my truck that says God in rod, I knew what I was doing. I knew that my life was not my own from that point forward. And, it, and my life is valuable because of that. He has shown me time and time and time again and still does. God still amazes me. <laughs> Y'all, I went to Spain. I walked the Camino, man, 560 miles in 31 days. I walked with God. What'd you do? What'd you do? Are you valuable? You know, I often say, why would you ever have sex with somebody you're not even willing to give the passcode to your phone? Well, I'll go further. Why would you ever give your time to somebody that you wouldn't pray with? I'm talking about laying them laying there next to you and you wrapping your arms around them and you praying in their ear ever so softly. That's the man I am. That's the man I am. I'm gonna do some meditation. Talk to you later.